Let's look at a little problem through the technology here. We have uh, a triangle BCD and another triangle B prime C prime D prime. They've been produced through a rotation. And so our goal is to find that center of rotation. Um, and what we're going to use is the idea that, uh, you know, uh, D has moved on along some arc, C has moved on an arc, B has moved on some arc. There's going to be some center that has kind of moved all of these guys along. So the way we're going to approach this is um, I'm going to create a segment between, let's say, B and, and uh, B prime. And I am going to create uh, the perpendicular bisector of that guy. Now, you would do that with your compass tools there. But um, <clears throat> along that segment, that line, sorry, um, somewhere along here is a point that would not only be equidistant to B and D, it's going to be equidistant to C and C prime and B and B prime. But we don't know where along here. We know all of these points are equidistant to B and B, and B prime, but we don't know about the others. So if you did it a second time, if you connect, let's say, C to C prime, and if we were to perform the perpendicular bisector there, ah, notice we've got a point uh, down there that uh, provides us some hope for a center. Let's just see if uh, there would, that would be the center location for if we created the segment between B and B prime and did the perpendicular uh, bisector there. Bingo, we found it. So let's drop it in there. Let's put in our, our point. That would be the center of rotation. Now just to show you, I'm going to pull out my circle tool. And let's just create a circle. Now do you see how that circle uh, goes through D and D prime? And do you see how this circle goes through B and B prime? And this circle goes through C and C prime. So that is the center of all of those concentric circles, the rotation of those points. A really fun little problem.